Hello, hello, hello. Today is April 27. It is our last day on Prum Island. My wife and I had a very long walk, during which I noticed some very interesting colors of the sand on the beach, with structure. Earlier we have explained waves in sand that can be caused by wind and by water, running water, but I've never seen such distinct purple structures. In addition, some spots, dark spots, about maybe five centimeters across. I have no explanation for that, therefore it's going to be your problem. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And have a nice day and take care. And we'll be friends. That's always a given. My wife and I are still on Plum Island. Another day We're on the beach here. The wind is enormously strong, you may not be able to understand Same thing. These spots, these dark spots, which have distinct different color, slightly coming up everything. <laughs> Shana was causing these purple colors. What? Oh, it's a squid. The squid releases purple dye. The what? The squid releases purple dye. Squid. Ink. Ink from squid. Squids. Oh, the squid cause The ink. Animal squid. Squid. Squid, yeah, yeah.
a real tear. So notice the distinct difference between the color of the sand here and there. All the way there, as far as you can see, on my left, it's purple. A little higher up there, normal sand. This is purple. And this is not. see again here, oh yeah, very strongly, these strange dark small areas, about several centimeters across, they also have a purpose color. Wonderful things on the beach. Ripples are relatively easy to explain, caused by wind. They can also be caused by, by water, flowing water. Oh, Shana is... Yeah, there was a fire warning. In our hotel. Now that the fire happened 500 meters that way, you would have got one from Newburyport. Yeah. But this is Newburyport. Oh, they're not holy. <laughs> 